Welcome back to Future Digital, the final stop that you need on your way to understanding what TF is going on with crypto. You know, things like, what is a cryptocurrency? How can I get in on the action? And well, how can I hide money from the government? I'm kidding about that last part, obviously. Actually, I'm not. I am. Not. But anyhow, as promised last time, we're going to explore new aspects of the crypto industry in a way that's super easy to learn and fun to watch. And toward the end of this video, we will buy our first cryptocurrency together. Let's get started. Last time we talked about currencies and how cryptocurrencies are different. They're decentralized, basically. We introduced some new terms as well, but let's start with the big one, blockchain. What is blockchain? As I briefly mentioned, it's basically a form of encryption. So imagine a bookkeeper, an accountant in other words, except this accountant exists only digitally. The accountant's records are also digital, of course, and you're already lost. So am I. I'll try to say it another way. Each cryptocurrency has its own blockchain or its own form of encryption. Every computer or device connected to each blockchain is issued the same encryption for each transaction. What this means is that it is impossible to hack. Remember when the untouchables tried to catch Al Capone's bookkeeper, who actually kept a book for all the transactions? With blockchain, it wouldn't have mattered because even when the bookkeeper was caught, all that information he had would still have existed everywhere else. That's why you can't hide money from the government. So blockchain is a form of encryption. Each transaction is verified almost endlessly, so it's impossible to hack, as hacking would accomplish nothing. I mean, you could hack it, but for it to work, you'd have to hack all the computers and devices connected to that blockchain at the same time. It simply would not matter if Joe Biden or Donald Trump were connected to that blockchain, as the idea of the weakest link has no meaning here. The chain part of the blockchain is equally strong and basically infinite. That means there are a lot of transactions, and each transaction has small fees. In other words, there are lots of little crumbs left over, and if you can use software to essentially pick up these crumbs, well, then you have a slightly better idea of what crypto mining is. Anyhow, let's say you make a crypto purchase, and your secretary makes a million paper copies of the transaction, and then passes these copies out to everyone. That network of pieces of paper with your transaction recorded on it is blockchain. Except it's digital, not paper. Don't kill trees. Now that we have a better idea of what blockchain is, we can move on with this video. And don't worry, we'll revisit this topic a lot of times, and it will get even easier each time. It's time to buy our first cryptocurrency. Go to your app store on an iPhone or Play Store on Android. Find an app called Change Invest. Once you've downloaded it, enter your information and pause this video now. I'm guessing you didn't pause it, so you can watch me buy first. Here we are inside the app's environment. We're going to choose the most famous cryptocurrency, and of course I'm talking about Bitcoin. It's also the most volatile, or riskiest. You can see I have two cents at this point. Press here, let's add some real money, euros in this case, and now you can see how much of one Bitcoin I have made an order for. I know it looks like I'm buying chump change, and I am. But don't worry, it will hopefully grow a lot. And now, order placed. The transaction is done. I'll let you in on a little secret though. This isn't my account. A friend of mine is what's called a hodler, and he's letting me use his account for my new transaction. Now don't worry about what H-O-D-L, hodl, means. It means holding, but it's misspelled on purpose. But using an established account for the purposes of these videos makes more sense. And that's it. We've made our first crypto purchase. Over the coming episodes, we'll make more purchases, we'll examine the ones we've already made, and we might try exploring other crypto exchange apps. Why do we choose Change Invest, by the way? Because it's Estonian. Remember, I'm American, but I live in Estonia, the crypto capital of the European Union. Fun fact about Estonia. Estonians are pretty good with encryption. In fact, they're so good at it that they have the oldest digital voting system in the world from 2005. That means voting on your cell phone and computer. They also have the highest voter participation of any digital voting system in the world. The best part is, no one whines about potential voter fraud. But once again, I am not a financial advisor. If you want financial help, you should contact a professional. 
Think of me as a fun and friendly guy to learn about cryptocurrencies with. And that's it for this episode of Future Digital. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like the video, share it as much as you can or want, and of course, subscribe to our channel, Future Digital. Our next video will be a little bit about safety in the cryptosphere. You won't want to miss it. See you then.